Seven, All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Wow! Caldera came to play. They sure did. And here we go. We've got some, uh, some topic firing up the weapon. And down. Whoa! Right the top yes! Thing. Yes! And they've lifted them up. Let's see if they're able to bash them into the wall and get themselves shaken loose. All right. They were able to wiggle themselves loose. And no, no, no. Caldera's doing the thing. All right. There we go. They're both back down on their wheels. And oh, my. Topic seems to have lost one half of its drive at this point. Wow, the sound of that weapon on Caldera is just frightening. It is grinding away at uh, the edges of Topic. Wow. It is just a steady hum. Oh, no! Caldera is just biting into that uh, that arm on Topic. Wow, and between the two, I think that Caldera might be getting the better of these exchanges, Kyle. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, it's a much more high kinetic energy weapon. We're going to like troll bot versus horizontal spinner here. We've seen Topic has been able to capitalize, but uh, without both wheels, it's going to be very hard for them to get precise with where they're landing these hits, if they're able to land the hits at all. Wow, all right. Topic has very smartly pushed Caldera into uh, the wall. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing Caldera's weapon. Is that spinning down? Does Caldera have a weapon? Yeah, he just shut it off. He just yelled that out. He's answering you directly now, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like us breaking the fourth wall, Caldera. <laughs> All right. I have no idea how long this match has been going on or how many minutes are left. Oh, that was really nice slam into uh, Bert, or Brett, Brett the Brick. I just heard the driver of Caldera say, maybe my battery is dead. Oh, no. Topic, here you go. You can, uh... He doesn't. <laughs> His arm's not working. No, good sportsmanship. All right. And I think that that's the end of the match, right? There it goes. Okay. Kyle, now we're not going to uh, waste the judges' precious time. We're not. Is this going to go to an announcer's decision? Well, let's find out. I think it was Topic. What about you? I'm going to go with Caldera. Oh. All right. Split announcer's decision, Split Kyle. Split announcer's decision. They both win. They both win. Yeah. The grudge continues. I feel like the audience wins because uh, more robot fights, please. Yeah, more robot fights, please. I agree. I uh, just wanted to go back to the chat real quick. Check in. So uh, here's one. Uh, so, Mary Catherine Carr, she wants to know, Luke, if you can explain uh, soft robotics and prostitutes. <laughs> Mary, quit, quit, uh, quit uh, stirring the pot, Mary, okay? <laughs> I've made so many errors in the last week. I just would rather not revisit them all, you know? Soft robotics, interesting. Interesting application for robotics. Very interesting, yeah. Uh, we don't see soft robotics here. I mean, because kinda. they would just explode. Kinda. Like where? You get some squishier robots around here. Squishy is not the same as soft, Kyle. Definitely not. No, but yeah. but squishier. I mean, when when you start to think about like, okay, what what is what is the weirdest robot that might be effective here at Norwalk Havoc? Maybe a soft robot is the uh, the answer. Ooh, yeah. It would really depend on how you put that thing together. Yeah. But yeah. It'd be kind of cool. All right, uh, here in uh, here in cage one, very exciting. I see losers bracket round nine, Dread Hades versus Polywog. 
These are two BattleBots captains. Dread Hades from Tyler Wynn, the captain of Perfect Phoenix, and uh, Polywog from Ribot Captain David Jin. Losers bracket round nine. These two builders have just lost one match each this weekend. And for one of them, their run ends here. All so right, but go uh, we just heard that first. we're going to go to cage two first. Well, they've been in there a little longer. I bet they're more ready to go. <laughs> if it's a grudge match, I'm going to scream. What is this? No, oh, this it's is Blackbird not. versus Jackrabbit. Yeah, this is a continuation of the loser's bracket for the three-pound division. Your ready buttons. Wow. Okay. Oh, all right. I don't know if I'm emotionally ready for this because I love both of these builders so much. But this, this will be our last time seeing one of these robots. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight! So fun fact, Blackbird actually lost to Jackrabbit back in September of 2020. But that was a very different Jackrabbit, and that was a very different Blackbird. Whoa! Oh my. Entangled, Kyle! They are very entangled at this point. Whoa! I think it's like one of the, uh, one of the, the parts of Jackrabbit's armor is stuck inside of Blackbird. Can you... Oh no, this is... <laughs> Bert is not a surgeon. All right, so we're gonna pause this match. We're going to go in there with our soft little hands and see if we can uh, pull these two robots apart very carefully. The stakes are quite high here. Please don't damage these robots. Or yourself. All right, Drew so Davis see. is uh, making his weapon safe. I appreciate that. And uh, let's see if Anthony can get his weapon lock in there. Oh, nope, no need. All right, good. Very good. Good job, Angel. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's see if we can pry these two robots apart. Oh, no. Kyle, that's stuck in there. Yeah, that's gooey. I'm that going to have to like cut that right a off. long piece of filament. Oh, no. Yeah, that okay, melted. are they going to affect the uh, outcome of this match by pulling that red armor out? Will we see Blackbird's weapon spin up? I'm not sure if it could with all Is that. Is it golf rules, Kyle? Do we do we play it where it lies? I uh, I don't know. I I honestly, I think they're gonna let him pull that junk out of there. I suppose I see the uh, the 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 logic there, and that this was not part of Jack Rabbit's uh, strategy. So just weird luck here. All right, so there we go. All right. They're going to restart this match. After the doors are closed and the box is locked, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Just just to clarify there, I wanted to make sure we were all on the same page or in the same box, if you will. All right, they have restarted the match. Go ahead and fight. Competitors, fight. The clock is going. Fight, robots, fight. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, and the weapon on Blackbird is not up. No, it's not. It's got too much of that gunk in it. Wow, and you can see that kind of red part. Whoa! Wow. Big hit. Jackrabbit just uh, took a big old chunk. All those sparks flying off of the front of Blackbird. Blackbird, their weapon is in a bad place right now, full of the filament from the wedge of Jackrabbit. Wow. Yeah. Not that is able to get it moving. for Anthony D'Ambrosio. It really is. It really is. Nothing else about the bot seems to be broken. It seems to be functioning just fine. Yeah, Minus good some. pushing power. Very good for pushing both of these power. Robots. We've seen such bulletproof drive from both of these drivers today. But uh, Jackrabbit certainly has the uh, upper hand with a functioning weapon and a functioning drive. 75 seconds left in this match. Wow, I have never seen filament get 
stuck inside of a, an opponent's beater bar before, Kyle. No, you're gonna have to look up what type of filament that was that he used. Because <laughs> that's uh, fishing wire, Kyle. <laughs> All right, 50 seconds left here. So that you can see, normally when you hit a dead weapon with a, with a live weapon, there'll be a little bit of spin afterwards just from the kinetic energy transfer. Yeah. There's just none of that. Good point. It's just jammed all the way up. Yeah. Now there's always the, uh, the, the, the possibility that a filament gets knocked loose, but with only 20 seconds left, I don't know if it's going to be enough, even if it happens, to affect the outcome of this fight. This yeah. one will definitely go to the judges. Most 10, definitely. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the match, Jack Rabbit. Turn off your weapon. Everybody drive to the door. We're going to pull up the judges. Judges' decision. Losers oh. bracket round 10. One of these builders will be going home. Don, who are we sending home today? That's the, uh, the TP you got in Blackbird. It uh, kind of ruined the match for it. Um, and then they couldn't really control the match after that. And Jack Rabbit was able to get its own shots in. So I got to go with grab it. All right, we've got one vote for Jack Rabbit. How about you, Andrew? Jack Rabbit on that one as well. Uh, once that wedge piece got stuck in there, the there was no active weapon on Blackbird, and yeah, from that point, Jack Rabbit kind of just was able to take their shots. Yeah. All right, and Jack, your thoughts on this fight? The Jack Rabbit. Once the weapon was stopped, they kept making aggressive moves, but there was no real control taken of the fight once Jack Rabbit managed to start getting shots in. All right. We have a unanimous judge's decision for Drew Davis and Jack Rabbit, Jack who Rabbit uh, remains on. alive in this competition. And they'll move on to round 11. Yeah. Now we're going to go over to box one. 